Hey guys, it's Natalie Hodson here. I'm teaming up with MRM to share with you guys different healthy tips. So it might be food related or workout related, but we're going to be sharing these a couple times a month. So make sure that you subscribe to their YouTube channel and like their Facebook page so you don't miss out on updates like these. A question I get asked all the time is what kind of carbs should I eat? I hear about good carbs and bad carbs and what should I be eating? So I decided to go into my own pantry here and I pulled out all the different carb sources that we eat on a weekly basis and share with you what we use and why we like them. Um, one of my favorites here is quinoa and we usually buy this at Costco or Sam's Club and I put it in a Ziploc bag just so it doesn't spill all over the place. I also like the tri-colored quinoa that I get at Trader Joe's. Quinoa actually was hailed uh, as a superfood by the Incas and they used to feed it to their warriors before they would go off to battle. And it has protein in it but it's also really high in fiber and iron as well. Um, we eat oats and I like the old-fashioned oats or the steel cut oats although these take longer to prepare. I really like these type of oats as opposed to the instant oats just because it has more texture and consistency and it doesn't get quite as mushy as instant oatmeal does. Um, and I usually mix this with berries and a little bit of almond milk to add sweetness and flavor so it's not so dull and boring. We use brown rice a lot and what I usually do is at the beginning of the week I'll cook one of these bags of brown rice and then I just keep it in an airtight container in my fridge so that way during the week I can quickly and easily take out portion sizes so that way it's a little bit easier for me to eat multiple times throughout the day. Uh, I like this brown rice, brown rice medley from Trader Joe's just because it adds a little bit of tex texture and consistency. It has black barley and I hope I'm saying this right, daikon radish seeds as well added to it. And I get that at Trader Joe's, but you can get brown rice anywhere and it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, we eat sweet potatoes a lot. If you go to my website, nataliehodson.com, I have a ton of recipes on there using sweet potatoes. My kids love eating sweet potato fr uh, fries. And as well, these are good uh, in fiber. In grocery stores, you might see these labeled as yams, and that's okay, as long as you pick the ones that have the orange uh, skin. Some people call them sweet potatoes, some people call them yams. We, use, we do use whole wheat pasta and uh, couscous, which is a type of pasta. I have a homemade spaghetti, 30 minute spaghetti recipe that a lot of people really like. It's on bodybuilding.com. It's also listed on my website. And so I make that in bulk and I freeze it and then we pour it over whole wheat pasta. And uh, I use for breakfast cream of rice or cream of wheat. Cream of rice is a little bit harder to find, but we ate this as kids growing up and it's really good. Um, if you find that you have too much fiber in your diet, which I try to aim for about 25 grams a day, this is a good option because it doesn't really have much fiber in it. Um, and some people have tummy issues if they're eating too much fiber. Beans are, you know, any kind of beans. We use these in uh, homemade chili quite often. And then rice cakes, I like to grab these if I'm on the go. So if I'm trying to hurry out of the house real quick and I don't have time to eat brown rice, I'll grab a rice cake. I like the flavored kinds. Um, I got these ones just because they were on sale. They're the cinnamon toast kind. And then uh, check the flavor and most rice cakes are made with brown rice. And then we do eat bread. I like and I prefer the uh, Food for Life brand. Ezekiel bread, but we just moved to a small town and it's really, and we don't it's hard for me to find that unless I drive to the nearest town over so we just get whole wheat bread uh, we like this oat nut bread just because we like the flavor and then I like these wraps as well so I'll you know if I make chicken in bulk in the week I'll throw this I'll throw the chicken into a wrap with some vegetables and I just found these at my local grocery store and I like these because they, they are high in fiber as well. I think each one has 13 grams of fiber. So if you're having a hard time getting your fiber in, uh, it's a nice way to supplement. And I think, that's, I think that covers everything. So these are just a handful of the uh, carb sources that I like to eat throughout the week. And then we, I play it up with a lot of different recipes and flavors and add a lot of things, which you can find almost all my recipes for free on my website. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to MRM's YouTube channel and make sure to have, head over to their Facebook page so that way you don't miss out on all the other tips we're going to be sharing with you guys. I hope you like this video. See you next time.